Let's take a quick look at a new independent reading app that I've put together for my district. This app was built fully with Glide apps and is powered entirely by a Google Sheet. When students visit the app for the first time, they're prompted to sign in with Google. This is limited to our domain. Students can log in with their school email addresses and password. Upon logging in the first time, students are prompted to create a brief profile. This will give us all the information we need about what grade they're in, who their teacher is, etc. Let's see what this looks like by clicking on the Create Profile Now button. As you can see, it's nothing more than a simple form, and this can include whatever information you like. For our form, we've included first and last name, whether the student is remote or in person, their grade, their instructional team, their English period, as well as an option for them to upload a selfie image to add to their profile. The final question we asked was for students to set a reading goal for the year, how many books they're hoping to read during this school year. Let's fill out this form now. When students have filled everything in, they just click Submit. And their profile has been created. This is what they'll see every time they log in now, and you can see they have a few different options. The first and most important is the option to log a book that has been completed. Let's click on that button and see what it looks like. Here we have another form. This is where students will log the books that they've read. Let's go through and log a book right now. We've included some interesting things here, beyond the typical things like title and author and a photo. We also included genre, and we asked students to, when possible, include the physical location where the book took place. We'll see why we do this in a moment. Students can rate the book on a scale of 1 to 5 stars, and include any links to book talks or other reviews that they may have done that they would like to share with their classmates. When they filled out this form, they simply click Submit and the book has been logged. And you'll notice that instantly it shows up in their list of books that have been read. This is a chronological list that will populate every time they log a new book. Students can go back and see the books that they've read by clicking on the thumbnail images, and they can see information about when they logged it, what they rated it, etc. This information, of course, is fully editable, so if students made an error or they want to change their rating or the genre, they can do that. They can even delete the item if they logged it by mistake. Back in the student's profile page, we have a few more options, and we've included these to help us deal with the challenges of the pandemic situation that many schools are facing. Namely, without students being able to browse the shelves of the library, they needed a way to be able to put in requests to get new independent reading books. So we've added the ability to request a new library book. This brings up yet another form where they can tell the library staff what book they would like, who the author is, and in what format they would like the book. We also ask for additional information because the book may not be available and we want to be able to get an alternative in their hands as soon as possible. As such, students tell us a little bit about their reading interests and tastes so that we can make good suggestions for them. In the case where students don't really quite know what book they want to read next, we have also included the option for them to request help finding their next independent reading book. This is yet another form that's shorter and includes just information about the student's reading interests and tastes so that we can match them with the right book. We've included a lot of other features in this app to help engage students in independent reading, and one of them is the On Deck feature. This allows students to add books that they're interested in reading to an ongoing list that's private just to them. This way they can keep track of all the titles that they want to get to throughout the school year. To add books, they simply click the button and enter the title and author. When they click Submit, this will now be added to their on-deck list. Now that it's on this list, students can click on it and request it from the library or, if they've completed the book, mark it as complete and it will disappear from their list. 
By clicking on the Stats tab, we can see things like how many books have been read this year by all students in the building, what books were recently logged, and then, one of the more interesting things, the ability to view the settings of books on a world map. Students can zoom in on a particular region and click on the pins to see what book was set in that location. It's an interesting way to discover new titles that they may be interested in reading. Scrolling down further, we see some charts and graphs of the most popular genres in the building, as well as how many books have been read by grade and by instructional team. This helps to engage students, keeping them excited about the prospects of reading more books. The next tool we included is a suggestions tool. Here, our library staff can make suggestions for students, sharing some of the latest and most popular books. These can be clicked on to read a brief synopsis, view book talks, request the book from the library, and even add it to students' on-deck lists. Students can now go back to their lists and see that that book has been added. These suggestions can be edited and added and deleted by anyone who has been set to be an admin in the app. Finally, for students, we've included a links tab, and this is where we share some important links to other independent reading-related tools. Students can come here to access these tools at any time. So this is the experience of the app as seen by the student's perspective. Let's see what it's like for teachers. So now I'm logged in as a teacher, and teachers can be set to an admin role in the back end of this app. Remember, all of this is powered by a Google Sheet, so making changes like that is very easy. You'll notice that the teacher view looks essentially identical to that of the students. I have the ability to log my own reading, request library books, and more, just like the students. What sets this apart are a few little features that I can access that students cannot. For example, on the Suggestions page, teachers have this plus button here, allowing them to add additional suggestions for students. This makes it easy for teachers to share new books and popular reads so that students can discover them. There are some additional features that are only accessible by teachers and admins, and those can be found by clicking on the menu icon. First, we see the Book Requests page. This is where all student inquiries go. So I can see that this student has requested the book Lost in the Sun by Lisa Graff. So I can see the details of this, including what grade and team this student is on. I can email the student directly. And if I do deliver this book to the student, I can mark it as delivered, and it will disappear from the request list. I also have the ability to add notes if I want to mark down any additional information about this particular student or request. Teachers can also access the All Data tab, and what this does is show a list of all users who are actively engaged with the app. We can click on any of these users and view their full profile, as well as their full log of reading. This is a great way for teachers to follow up with their students and keep track of what they've been reading and how frequently they've been logging. Again, this entire app is powered by a simple Google Sheet that hosts all of the information about the users and their reading. What's great about this is it makes it very easy to share and edit data if things were entered incorrectly or need to be adjusted. It also allows us to do additional things with the data and analyze it to a greater degree, giving us insight into student reading habits. This app runs beautifully on all devices, including smartphones, Chromebooks, Macs, and PCs. Right now, we're viewing it in Safari on a Mac, and it looks great in this phone frame that it's displayed in. However, I do have the opportunity to show it in the full window, giving me a better experience that takes advantage of all of the screen real estate I have. Either way, it's a great experience for students, no matter how you're viewing it. It was definitely fun putting this app together. Feel free to reach out with any questions you have trying to set it up for your own school. Thanks for watching.